YouTube, what's up? Blizzard has announced 22 Days of Terror, which every day for the, the next 22 days, they're changing something in the game, some sort of mechanic or adding. But right now, what they've done is they've done, they've terrorized cow zones for the next 24 hour. So what I've done is I've put together a ES Nova Sork build for my level 98, specifically for cows. So this is great for me for helping me to level. So I'm going to go over this build and, and kind of show you the gear that I'm using, but also players one cows versus a game with a public game with hopefully four players. So this is the gear that I'm using. Infinity and a scythe. So this is so that I can hold it and it has negative 50 to enemy lightning resist. I'm using a Griffins with a 5.5 light facet in it, giving me minus 24 and plus 18. Amara's a skin of the Viper Magi, not upped. And then I added a random light facet that I had, which was four, minus four, plus three. Using Sandstorm Trex for the 67 to poison resist with energy sork, sorry, energy shield. The only thing that gets through is poison damage. So, I mean, there's no poison in cows, but it's nice to have your poison resist up. And then I have 15 to vitality and 13 to strength. Again, I'm trying to boost up my strength points so that I save them so that I can add them to energy. So again, not up to skin of the Viper Magi to save the strength points. And then I have a nice faster cast rate ring, 10% faster cast rate, 19 to strength. Again, saving those strength points to put into energy, cold resist 18, and then poison length reduced by 25, which is nice. Again, it's nice, but again, there's no poison damage in cows. Arachnid's Mesh, Stone of Jordan with the, so the extra mana. And then I'm using Mage Fist, not upped again for the 20% faster cast rate and the plus one to fire skills. And I'll mention why that I, why I have that. Then I have all Lightning Skillers with life, Lightning Skillers with life, Lightning Skillers with life. And then I have all of these as mana charms. So small mana charms, 17, 17, 17 and then some 15 and 16. 20, 19, 10 Annie, a 1919 Torch. And then on swap, I have 262 CTA, and then a lidless wall to for the one to skills to boost uh, battle orders. My mercenary is using Andes with a 15 increased attack speed and Fire Res Jewel, Sacred Armor Fortitude with 6% ED and the second highest life roll. And then using a Insight in a CV for the high damage and 17 Meditation Aura. And then he is a Defiance Merc, so tons of extra defense to add to me and himself. Character stats, so just enough strength to wear the boots. So you need, I think, 92 or 90 something. 91 so 91 strength in order to wear the boots and then you get strength from the boots and then everything else into energy because this is an es version and then for my skill tree so i have two points two points into frozen armor just to boost defense in the lightning tree i've maxed out static field and nova and maxed out telekinesis and energy shield one point into teleport, one point into these synergies, maxed out lightning mastery, and then one point into thunderstorm. And then for fire skills, I have one point into warmth, and then here's the spice. I have one point into fire mastery, which boosts fire skill damage up to 107%. And the reason for that is because I have the hydras from the torch mapped in case I run into lightning immunes, because this is pretty much a pure lightning build. So I have the hydras for backup in case I need to kill like the cow king or something. So hopefully he's not lightning and fire immune. That'd be the only sort of downfall. So that is the build. We're going to go out, grab the leg, and then do a cow run, single player cow run. Oops. So yeah, pretty much almost 3,000 mana, which is technically your life because it's an ES version. 
This is hitting the 105 cast rate. Actually, I should probably go over that. These guys are lightning immune. So this is what I don't like about a pure ancient armor. Uh, a pure lightning build or a pure element build is you do run into immunities and you kind of just, again, it slows you down because you either have to skip them or you just, quote unquote, wait for your merc. And I don't like waiting for my merc, right? Anyways, let me show you the uh, advanced stats here. So regenerate mana with the 17 meditation and warmth. It's 755%, which is crazy. Magic find is very low, only 30 on the infinity. 105 faster cast rate, poison length reduced, and then the lightning damage. So that's it. So you can see the... Uh, the res isn't too great, but again, I'm using energy shield, so the only one that's important is poison. But again, doing doing cows, you don't even need to worry. You just It's all physical damage, so that will come in handy. So the defense is good, and then energy shield obviously is good. And you can see that I have some decent life for an ES orc with 900 life so it's not like you have some hit points there to save you in, in case something happens to your to your shield what why can't i carry that uh, wondering when i picked those up While I'm here, I might as well pick up a town portal. A tomb of town portals, actually. All right. So this is players one, cows, ES, Nova, infinity, holding. The uh, one single point into, into Thunderstorm is just to kind of help with some extra damage. It's kind of a single target comes from the sky. Also, it looks cool on the Sork. and five socket might keep that for an obedience or something so this is players one cows you can see the style is you have to it's it makes sense it makes it better if you can kind of teleport into the middle of a pack versus other builds where you kind of stand off and you're kind of behind so it helps to be sort of in the thick of it again here's a lightning and so here's a lightning and physical immune. I might just skip that instead of wasting my hydras on that guy right now. You can see like this is this is what happens when you go single element. You run into these situations where you get resist. But this is where uh Sunder Charms figure that out. But this is a non-ladder character, so there's no Sunder Charms. Come on, Merc. Again, I... That's what I don't like, is waiting for the Merc. As fast as your build is, if you have to wait for your Merc, I mean, I guess you could just skip. But I don't like to skip anything. So the build is pretty quick. You get that minus 50... Lightning res on the weapon... And then about minus 30 from the 
griffins and the basset in the armor. And because my because you're holding infinity, you can use insight on your mark, which is great for regeneration of mana. So I have the 17 meditation, which you can see. Let me just rebuff. You can see that I'm like spamming it, holding it down, and the mana basically does not move at all. And that mana is your life, so if I like kind of take some heat. I don't know, it's a little scary being in here, but you can see that uh, it protects you pretty well. And then spamming Nova when you're in a crowd is, is nice. So Cow King is pretty much always... So I'm going to use... Oh, and fire. Great. So he was lightning and fire immune. I dropped some hydras anyways, but my mark took care of him. So let's go find that guy that was lightning, lightning immune and physical. Where was he? He would be the only guy left. Yeah, so I can drop Hydras. So Hydras... Take him out pretty quickly. And that's because of the one... Where is it? Hydras. Hydra damage. 500 to 600. Because of the one point that I put into Fire Mastery. So that helps boost that up. So let's go for a four-player cow game. So here we are in a cow game. Four players of cows. Just to kind of show again the, the, the clear speed. And the style of play. Kind of telly stomp. Get close. Energy shield saves you. You can see that spamming Nova, my mana does my mana pool does not go down at all. And I'm barely getting hit. You're kind of stunning them. So for cows, this is a great, great build. Barely getting hit. And this is players four which is the max on Nintendo Switch. You can see that it slows down a little bit here in Players 4. Just takes some more Novas.
yeah, so that's it. Uh, we did a new build here. Energy Shield, Nova Sork, Infinity Holding, Insight on the Merc, level 98. Trying to hit that 99. You can see my my experience bar there. I'm working on that seventh bar or the third from last. So getting close to this 99. So I only have a little bit left. So that's why we picked this build. Cows are terrorized. We're going to do cows, 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 cows until we'll see how far I get. But obviously it takes a while to get to 99. I need a lot of experience. And on Nintendo Switch, which this is, capped at players four. So yeah, that's it. Thanks.